We're now stood in front of the new Komatsu PC210 LCI-10 excavator, the world's first control, machine control excavator. Some of the, uh, the very new and unique Komatsu technology on this machine is, uh, for example, on the end of the bucket cylinder here, we can see a, a stroke sensor, and we have also one on the, on the arm cylinder and a one on the bucket cylinder. Uh, and what these sensors do is they measure the actual position of the cylinder rod on each cylinder continuously. We have a stroke sensor on the arm cylinder also which um, performs the same function and measures the exact position of the cylinder rod within the cylinder during the movement of the machine. Conventional systems use, um, use a series of external sensors on the bucket, the arm and the boom with, uh, with the body sensor. And these are sort of solid state sensors. And the, uh, the information that these sensors give to the operator in the cab is not real time. There is a delay between the movement of the work equipment uh, and the information coming from the sensor to the operator in the cab. So you don't get real time movement of the bucket edge. The big advantage of this machine and what makes this machine so special is that the Komatsu technology and the stroke sensors and the, the controller and the body IMU means that for the operator, his skills are not lost, but they certainly are enhanced and it, the system makes his life much, much easier. The, the difference between the current system and the, the new Komatsu technology means that when the operator previously, he couldn't use the screen to monitor, monitor the bucket edge because the movement wasn't real time. With this machine, he can see exactly where the bucket edge is at all times. So when, he, when the bucket is out of sight in a trench, he can use the screen see exactly where the bucket edge is and make sure that he maintains grade. And the biggest thing, the biggest assistance for the machine or for the operator and the owner is that this machine does have a control function. So combined with the real time bucket edge movement, the machine will actually maintain bucket edge position without going beyond the, the design surface. It's impossible for the machine in control function to dig past where it's supposed to dig. So over digging, moving too much material, backfilling too much material in a trench, for example, is eliminated. There is, there's, there's no risk of that whatsoever. The operator's life is much, much easier. It makes the cycle much quicker and it saves time and also materials.